Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Illustrator, and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some cool stuff. What I want to do is show you this really cool maple flower effect that you can create within Adobe Illustrator. We'll be using a couple tools, the blend tool, gradients, and our shapes to really create a really cool looking flower design. Obviously, take what I show you and then implement it within your own work, and I guarantee the results will be very, very impressive. Okay, so using my selection tool, I'm just going to select everything here and just press backspace to delete it and let's start afresh. So the first tool I need to use is our shape tool and our, in with the actual tool within the shape tool I need to use is our star tool. Now if I come onto the artboard and click, as you can see here, what you can do is dictate how many points your star has. I like 10, so I'm going to keep it at 10 and I'm going to press OK and there is my star. I'm just going to zoom in using the keyboard shortcut for Mac users, which is Command Plus. For Windows, it is Command Plus. Now, I want to swap the fill and the stroke around. And let's just put a solid color in there to start off with. So let's come to my swatches up here or my fill option. Let's use white. And I'm just going to use the little arrows there to swap the um, fill and stroke around. Now, I don't want to create sort of curvy paths. They're too sharp. So if you right click on your pen tool, what you have here is the anchor point tool. What your anchor point tool does is allows you to manipulate the anchors and parts and make them curvy. Let me show you what I mean. So if I come over here and use that tool, I can come to this path and just click and drag. And as you can see, I'm now curving that particular path. And what I'd need to do is go on every single point now using this tool. Just simply clicking and dragging with your mouse to the point where you like it and creating curvature paths on every single point. Really easy tool for you to sort of in, in, introduce sort of like curvy elements with straight points, sort of detailed illustrations. Like so. Okay, so I have the structure of my flower design now. What I need to do next is create the blend. So I'm going to come through with our ellipse tool here and press shift to create a nice, perfect ellipse. I'm just going to swap the fill and the stroke around yet again using those arrows. And I'm going to apply a preset gradient like so. So what I need to do is duplicate this uh, keyboard shortcut is option on a Mac or alt on Windows. And I'm going to press shift as well to keep it nice and straight in line. Now what I need to do is blend these two shapes together. So if I select the both of them with our selection tool, we're now going to come through and use our blend tool. What your blend tool does, it allows you to blend shapes and elements together. So if I just come through and click on the first shape, come down to the bottom one and click. Now I've blended these together. The only problem is though, is that there's not enough steps within this particular blend. So I need to increase those. How to do that is you come back to the tool. If you just simply double click on it, it will bring up your blend options. If I'm going to change this to specified steps, probably going to do about a thousand steps between the blends. And press OK. And now you can see I have a sort of a solid tube now. OK, so what I would like to do now is attach this blend to this particular shape here. So in a sense, what this is, is now a spine. So if I select the both of them and go to Object, Blend, we have an option here of replace spine. As you can see now, that tube now is attached to that particular spine. Adding a gradient as well really gives you sort of the sense of shadowing and sort of real sort of 3D look to it. Now, what we need to do is increase the sort of like the furriness of it. So what we're going to do now with it selected is come to effect, distort and transform and roughen. And this is where, guys, now you come through and manipulate to the point that you're happy. So I'm going to say sort of like bring up the detail there a little bit. Let's bring up the size. There we go. We're really getting it now. Let's bring up the detail as well a little bit more. Let's say you can change it to smooth if you want or corners, but I'm going to keep it to corners. And then we're going to press OK. And there you have it, guys. That's how you create a flower effect in Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at bluescrygraphics.co.uk. 
There are also recordings that are coming out uh, on a weekly basis. So please make sure you take a look. Uh, but thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.